Thank you for making me a mother. You will never know shame in life. You are blessed for me. So this was actually my first time touching my baby. This was after they cleaned her and brought her to me. So this is me looking at her, kissing her, and just feeling so happy. Soon after that, I handed her over to my husband, for my husband to pray and bless our daughter. So this was what my husband was doing. This has always been my wish for him to be around whenever I give birth. He was actually there with me in the labor room, but they didn't give us baby. They didn't hand the baby over to us because they needed to clean her up. Considering the weather as well, the weather was really cold. But then inside it was warm though, but they said they have to clean her up immediately to avoid any complications. So we obliged to it. So my husband was praying and blessing baby. I was saying amen, amen, amen. Believe me, this was actually my dream come true. And moreover, this video is about my first few hours with my baby girl and i was actually alone at the hospital my husband only comes to visit they don't allow anybody to sleep over so i was actually at um at the hospital alone so i didn't video much but the few clips i get um i believe you will enjoy it so this was me after i've breastfed the baby and she slept i wanted to carry her for a longer time but you know this advice that people will give you once baby sleeps you should try and put her um to bed you shouldn't always carry her so that she won't get to she won't get to be all these children that likes mommy carry me mommy carry me they won't like to stay on their own so this is me laying down my baby girl trying to you know first time mom and i was trying to cover everything at the point the, the nurses came and told me that I was actually covering her too much because the hospital is already warm. Each time I notice something, each time they come to check on her or to take her to the um, neonatal ward to give her injection, I notice that they bring her back to me, removing the cap. I always wear her cap, but they will bring back the baby to me without wearing her her cap. One day I asked her, I was like, I was like, mother, please, why is it that people always remove her cap? They told me that the hospital is warm. I'm not supposed to be covering her too much inside the hospital in order for her not to start feeling very hot. So they're trying to balance the temperature. I said, okay, what can a first time mom do if not to cover the baby very well to avoid stories that touches the bomb bomb? Okay, so this was me. Come and look at my big tummy. I see I've not given birth. Okay, later on in the evening, this is me with baby girl joking and playing with her you know telling her that she's my evidence that what god cannot do does not exist if you check you see at the hand you see something that was tied there they were giving her injection look at you can see very well. they were giving her injection against bacterial infection so me myself i was thinking that my baby was suffering i was crying i was like i want them to remove this they told no that it's not actually hurting baby that they are just passing through there to give her injection so that they will not be you know looking for vein every time they want to give her injection i think they gave her injection for having this for three days and four days against bacterial infection okay so um that is what that is why she have her hand like that but i was thinking that the thing was spending my baby i was crying i was like child my baby is suffering they were like no 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 no, no. that is it's normal for them to give her that injection so in order in order for them not to be looking for vain you know every time they are opening up doing this so they have to just open her and put in canola i was thinking that it will be pain i know that it's not painful for we adults but for newborns i was thinking it's painful considering what they tied on her hand and but what is there is actually um what is it called is actually uh, what is that called cutting wood okay cutting wood with um little net so it wasn't that bad so this was me talking to my baby you know blessing her and doing every lovely things i could do so enjoy the rest of this world. don't come and tell me look at the way you are carrying her you're not supposed to carry her. i was not in the mood of looking after all those things so but the way i was carrying her she was safe you can see my hand is holding her neck and i was holding her bum bum her neck her legs 
it's okay. I know that I'm supposed to carry her the other way around, but when joy is over full, you don't think of all those things. But the most important thing is that baby is fine, okay? So keep enjoying this vlog. You will see the next clip. I think the next clip was me actually blessing her. I think the next day or so. So like I said, I was just alone at the hospital. My husband comes and visits and go back. Why I remain with baby at the hospital. Hope you enjoyed this video. Just keep watching. The next slide is where I was blessing her her generation. Keep watching. joy is permitted in your life only tears of joy you will never experience it you see when it's time for you to get married you get married on time and as you're getting married you're getting pregnant you're conceiving just as your birth was easy for me you shall always experience easy delivery of jesus yeah child <laughs> So guys, at this point, the media came in and told me that I should go and do um, echography. Mm -hmm. I asked her where she told me the word I was going to. So I went in, they did scan on my womb to check my womb. After everything, they told me that um, everything is okay and the, the, um, the discharge took okay. Thanks, money for them to discharge baby for us to leave. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.